Hello everyone, this is Vishaka Sahadev and today we will be discussing about response object methods in detail. But before discussing that, first we should know what is response object. So let's have a look on this. The SP response object is used to send the output to the user from the server. To write an ASP page, what do you need to do? You just need to write a standard HTML page and you need to put that standard HTML page in the active server pages script wherever it is required. Active server pages script is denoted by the text between this symbol. To send ASP to the client, you need to use the response object. The method of the response object which sends the data to the client is write method. So for example, if you will write an HTML page, it will be looking like this. First of all, you need to specify which language you are using. Like here, we are using VB script. So I have written here VB script. Then HTML tag will be open. Body tag will be open. Response dot write. We are providing hello world. And then body tag will be closed. And after that, HTML tag will be closed. So you can inherently invoke the response dot write method by using the equal sign. What I am going to specify here one thing that it is not required that you always use the response dot write. If you want to write in a uh, short form, you can say then you can use this. Let me show you this as well. Here what you have done the complete program is same language we have specified which is VB script HTML tag is opening body tag is opening there you have written this equal sign instead of response dot write so this is just a method to get rid of the response dot write so you just have to use the equal to sign instead of response dot write both are equally same and both will work now let's have a look on ASP response object methods. The first method which we will discuss is ASP write method. The write method is used to write a specified string to the output. The syntax is like this response dot write and then a variant. Variant means the string which you want to pass. The example you can see in this example you are passing the string is hello word. So hello word is using as a variant. Here it is, it is just the string which you want to pass. So the output will be hello world. So the write method which we have just discussed is used to write a specified string to the output. Like here we have passed the string, it is hello world. This is also known as variant and the output will be hello world. Next property which we will discuss is ASP buffer property the buffer property is used to specify whether to buffer the output or not when the output is being buffered the server will hold back the response to the browser until all the server script have been processed point here is when the output is being buffered is matlab hai, agar output buffer hoga to server kya karega server will hold back the response to the browser jab tak ki puri script complete nahi ho jati and if you want ke usse pehle hi script complete hone se pehle hi user ke paas client ke paas output chala jaye then you have two methods first is flush method and second is end method if the property is set, it should be before the HTML tag in the ASP page. It means that if you are using ASP buffer property in the page, then you have to use this method before the HTML tag in the ASP file. As you can see, the syntax is response dot buffer equal to flag. So what do you mean by flag here? Flag is just a Boolean value that specifies whether to buffer the page output or not. And flag property has two parameters. First is true and second is false. True indicates buffering and false indicates that there is no buffering at all. If the property is true, in that case, the server will not send the output until all of the script on the page have been processed as i told you earlier agar ye property true hai to server output tab tak send nahi karega jab tak ki puri script us page mein complete na ho jaye and if you want to send the output before that then you can two methods first is flush and second is end method but what is the case if the property is false the false indicates there is no buffering the server will send the output as it is Process. Jesse output process, ho gaya, server will send the 
आउटपुट इट विल नॉट वेट कि सारी जो स्क्रिप्ट है वो प्रोसेस हो और उसके बाद वो आउटपुट को सेंड करे द फॉल्स इज डिफॉल्ट फॉर आई आई एस वर्जन फोर पॉइंट जीरो एंड अर्लियर एंड द डिफॉल्ट फॉर आई आई एस वर्जन फाइव पॉइंट जीरो एंड द लेटर इज ट्रू नाउ आई हैव शोन दिस मेथड विद द हेल्प ऑफ एन एग्जाम्पल इन दिस एग्जाम्पल वॉट वी हैव रिटर्न वी हैव सेटिंग द रिस्पॉन्स डॉट बफर प्रॉपर्टी इज ट्रू एंड एज यू कैन सी दिस इज यूज बिफोर द एच टी एम एल टैग सो आफ्टर यूजिंग और आफ्टर सेटिंग दिस प्रॉपर्टी टू ट्रू we are doing here html tag is being opened body tag is opened and then we are running a loop for next loop of asp in this loop we are printing for i equal to 1 to 100 response dot write i and break the line tag and then next data close html tag close and as you can see the response dot buffer property is true so what will happen in this case there will be no output sent to the browser before the loop is finished and if the property is set to false then what will happen then it would write a line to the browser every time it will pass through the loop so in this case it will be 100 times next method is asp clear method the clear method is used to clear the buffered output of html no this method will not clear the response header if you are passing any value in the response header agar aap head tag mein koi bhi value use kar rahe ho ye usko clear nahi karega it will only clear the response body in a note if the response buffer is false this method will cause a run time error and aisa kyun hoga aisa isliye hoga kyunki agar ye property false hai then there is no buffered html output and if there is no buffered html output to ye clear kise karega so definitely it will cause a run time error so what the syntax for asp clear method is response dot clear let me show you this with the help of an example as i told you before using this method you have to use response dot buffer and set it to true so what we are doing here in this example we are setting the response dot buffer property to true so that if there is any buffered output it will clear the buffered output then we are opening the html tag body tag is open we are using paragraph tag two times in the first paragraph tag we are writing this is some text i want to send it to the user and in the next paragraph tag what i am using no i have changed the mind i want to clear the text then response dot clear is being called so what it will do here it will clear the buffered output so what will be the output then there will be no output because this method will clear the html buffered output next method is asp flush method the flush method sends the buffered html output immediately note if the response dot buffer is false again it will show you a run time error बिकॉज अगर ये प्रॉपर्टी फॉल्स होगी देन देर विल बी नो बफर्ड एच टी एम एल आउटपुट और अगर कोई आउटपुट ही नहीं होगा देन हाउ इट विल सेंड द आउटपुट इन दैट केस दिस मेथड विल कॉज अ रन टाइम एर सो द सिंटेक्स फॉर दिस प्रॉपर्टी इज रिस्पॉन्स डॉट फ्लश लेट मी शो यू दिस विद हेल्प ऑफ एन एग्जाम्पल सो वॉट आई एम डूइंग हेयर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम सेटिंग द रिस्पॉन्स डॉट बफर प्रॉपर्टी टू ट्रू then i am opening the html tag body tag i am taking three paragraph tags in the first i am writing the classes should be taken seriously in the second i am writing if we will not take them seriously we will not be able to understand the facts the third is let's attend the class then i am using the response dot flush body tag is closed html tag is closed so let's see how it will show you the output it will send the buffered output immediately so the output will be the classes should be taken seriously if we will not take them seriously we will not be able to understand the facts and then then let's attend the class so it is sending the buffered output immediately we will study asp end method the end method is used to stop the processing of a script and return the current result but this method will flush the buffer if response dot buffer has been set to true why it is written here agar response dot buffer property true hai it means there will be html buffered output aur agar aisa hai it will flush the 
output because it will stop the script. If you do not want to return any output to the user, अगर आप चाहते हो कि user को कोई भी output ना मिले so first of all what you have to do in this case you have to call the response dot clear first to clear the output. The syntax is response dot end. We show you this with the help of an example. First of all, we are using the HTML tag here, the body tag here, paragraph tag in which I have written I am reading the novel. The novel is two. Then I am using response dot end, and then again I am using long. Full stop. It will not be finished today. I am closing the paragraph tag. Body tag is being closed. HTML tag is being closed. So what will be the output? So response dot end will stop the script and will return the output so the output will be i am reading the novel the novel is 2 will not show that it is long and will not be finished today why because just before that you have stopped the processing of the script this property which we will be studying is asp redirect method which is used to redirect the user to a different url so the syntax for this will be response dot redirect url url is required the url that the user or the browser is redirected to example is response dot redirect so what it will do it will redirect the page to www.google.com it is all about asp response object methods and we will be studying cookies now so what do you mean by cookies they are basically a way for a user to store the nuggets of information on the visitor's computer they can be used to retrieve the value stored on the visitor system at a some point of time or maybe later on you can store the most recent search a visitor has made on the website in a cookie and you can also store the visitor location like when they return to your site then you can display the local information for the visitors but every time they cannot be the only way to identify the user as they are on the visitor system so, so there should be some alternative to this so what we can do here we can place the cookies on the visitors machine by using the cookies collection of response method for writing a simple cookie to the visitor system the code will be response dot cookie the name of cookie which you are providing and then the value of the cookie the name of cookie is basically the name which you want to store the cookie as on the visitor system and the value represent the text to be stored in the cookie so in the next example what i'm doing here response dot cookies search criteria 1 equal to asp the statement will add the cookie with the name so the name will be search criteria 1 and the value will be asp and if there is any cookie which is already existed then in that case the old value will be overwritten that's all for the day thank you